Hi, I'm arts blogger and YouTuber Kevin Thomas, and I am so excited to be part of the second annual SF Queer Film Fest, of course in San Francisco at the Delancey Street Screening Room from August 26th to the 28th. I got so involved this year because I loved it last year. It was so fun, and now I'm involved. They also asked me to do this because I'm a big ham. But you know what? What goes better than ham than honey? So I am here with Honey Mahogany, the San Francisco legend. Now, if you don't know her name, I don't know what's wrong with you. But okay, Honey Mahogany, I think is the only Bay Area person ever on RuPaul's Drag Race. That's not true anymore. But I was the first. Okay, the first. <laughs> and the only one we remember. She also, in studying you, like you owned the stud which is trying to make a comeback. Yes, that's true. And I don't know how you have time to do this, but aren't you running for supervisor in a San Francisco district? I am, I'm running for supervisor in District 6. And I know we're here to talk about a film festival, so real quick, yeah. how could people follow you or discover you online? Where do they go? Sure, absolutely. Well, you can check out my website, honeymahogany.com. Um, I could definitely use, you know, your help or a through a donation or volunteering. Um, you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, all at Honey Mahogany. It's pretty easy to find me. So back to the festival, though. So we will be screening documentaries, feature films, short films, and web series, and a lot of them will be educational, a lot of them will be informative, many of them will be fun, and it will have the international flavor that we love. And guess what? You don't have to pick between different movies because they will all be at the Delancey Street screening room. They have one screen. It's also where Academy people go to select movies that should be Oscar nominated because of the sound and visual quality. They could judge it on that. And it's sometimes where critics go to watch movies. Now let's talk about these movies. Three wonderful days of film after film in different segments. Um, were there any that particularly jumped out that you want to see? There were so many good options, um, so many good films to choose from, but one that really spoke to me was Black As You Are. That really touched me. It is a film about what it is like to be a black queer person in America. I mean, it sort of goes through the Black Lives Matter movement and the impact that had on the community, but how there was also at the same time you know, as we were seeing the videos of George Floyd and all these other things, we were also seeing videos of black trans women who were being attacked and murdered um, by their own community. And so um, it was really rough sort of um, reliving that through the film, but I think it also was a really important dialogue about the ways in which, um, you know, these systems of patriarchy and racism and white supremacy and oppression all kind of, you know, swirl together in America. And we really haven't completely unpacked that and are still dealing with that today. She was attacked by a mob of people, you know what I'm saying? And while we running around screaming about Black Lives Mattering, did her Black Lives Matter? And so it's extremely important that we be mindful of what took place and how things went. And just because someone is trans identified does not take away our black card. We just as black as you are. My name is Anjali Remy, and I'm so excited and honored to invite you to San Francisco Queer Film Festival 2022. As a South Asian transgender woman, I'm so excited to see all the transgender narratives up on the screen. This year, we are so excited to bring an evening dedicated to South Asian transgender narratives, co-presented by Parivar Bay Area. Parivar Bay Area is America's only transgender-led, transgender-centering South Asian organization. And together, we are presenting three fantastic films for you to view. My Mother's Girlfriend, Miss Man, and Queer Parivar, followed by a powerful panel discussion with black, brown, trans leaders about the state of affairs for trans people globally and in America. <laughs> One thing I'm particularly excited about is the opening night movies from Here TV. They have a short film and a feature that are both 
really good and they keep winning awards. So I'm so happy that we're going to do them at the SF Queer Film Festival. Um, first is No Goodbyes, a short film that's a love story that takes place in a concentration camp, which obviously isn't fun. And then the feature film is A Hundred Years of Men in Love. That movie, even now I, I kind of tear up, um, it's about this couple. They find this photo of like men sort of just almost touching like slightly because it's back in the day where it was hard to come out as gay. Mm. So they make it a point to gather all these photographs of showing men kind of touching and interacting without being obvious about it because they probably would have been murdered or killed or abused or ridiculed. There's one where another guy's reaching over and he's touching the guy's chin and it's making him smile but when, again when you follow the, the body down and the leg down, he's tapping the other guy's foot. So it's it's just this little gesture of, of love and that's you know, we see that a lot. Another great segment is called Unsung Heroes. The National AIDS Memorial has been, ever since 2015, every other year, they've been making a film and presenting it to different communities. And this year, they're focused on black, but in the past, they've done like transgender, and they're just gonna keep every other year doing a new community that needs to be under the spotlight to bring awareness to this. Well, I think the film about the black community and AIDS, um, I think it actually even does sort of a, has a, is a little bit different. It really talks about what's happening now and that especially for the black community, the AIDS pandemic isn't over. Actually, black women are the people most likely to contract HIV now in this country, not gay men. And um, among black gay men specifically, I believe um, in a few years, uh, we could be at where um, by the age of 50, um, one out of every two, so 50% of black gay men are uh, HIV positive. And when it comes to black trans women, the number is actually 60% of black trans women are HIV positive. So it's pretty staggering. It's, I mean, really like epidemic levels in the African American community right now. So it's definitely something that's very relevant. It hasn't gone away because when you have people who have been oppressed, people who have been systemically abused, um, denied resources, um, they are much more vulnerable. And they also don't have access to the same media resources to tell those stories um, so that people are aware of their struggles and tribulations. And so it's really important that we have films like this that actually highlight that and the people who are doing the work to fight against it. It was devastating as a, as a woman. And it was a secret that I kept for a minute. And my life was just racked with, with fear, with guilt, shame. In 1986, my life, I thought I was going to die. I was going to die. Well, the San Francisco Queer Film Festival is bringing forward the most marginalized in our community, bringing together the underdogs in the world of cinema and documentary and features where we need to showcase and tell these stories of our intersectional existence. And we can never have enough platforms to tell our stories. So at San Francisco Queer Film Festival, that is how history is being made. Talking about the ignored and talking about those that are further marginalized within our marginalized communities of LGBTQ folks. Happy birthday. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> On Saturday, there's this web series segment that I personally love because it's mine. Yes. I'm not in it, don't worry. If you if you don't like seeing my face, you don't have to see it in the web series thing. I um, through many film festivals curate a web series segment called Web Out. And I am bringing six very funny web series to watch. One of them is called Bottoms Brunch, which um, two gay men have to realize are going out for sex that night. So what are they going to eat for the brunch they plan? Burritos. No, they're not eating burritos. <laughs> and um, I really kind of have the West Coast meets the East Coast and both Brooklyn's. There's a show from the East Coast Brooklyn and there's a show from the West Coast Brooklyn, which is Oakland. You know, it's called the Brooklyn Basin now. And that's called Dyke Central, which has been around for 10 years, but it's a really great show. And I want to showcase that. And I hear that Barbara Streisand will be making an appearance at this web series segment. What do you think of that? That's kind of fabulous. As long as we keep the air quotes. Babs. 
There's also this great anthology series from a local filmmaker, Matthew Ryuta, who did a film last year that was in the SF Queer Film Festival. His segment is called Elements, so he has four short films, all involving a different element of the elements. Mm -hmm. And oh, they're really thought provoking, they're, they're real, they take place in different parts of the Bay Area, not just SF, so it's really a great thing I look forward to. Awesome, well I can't wait to see it. Oh my God, honey, there are so many movies we haven't even talked about, but you can learn more about them at sfqueerfilmfest.com. The whole program will be listed there, including great ones we didn't talk about because we can't talk forever. And by the way, if you're not gonna be in San Francisco, shame on you for that, but there's also a streaming version of many, not all of these films. It will start on August 31st and run till September 4th, Labor Day. So if you can't catch them live with us, <laughs> you could watch them at home on your own. Anyway, I look forward to seeing you there. Feel free to come up and say hi to any of us because it's going to be a fun, festive occasion. In fact, I'm starting the hashtag festive festival. So, you know, do a hashtag fest, oh, festive, hashtag festive festival because it's going to be fun. Yeah. It really is. It is. So we will see you there at the Film Fest. This film festival really brings value and meaning to telling our authentic lives in a way that inspires, motivates, and engages everyone to pay attention to the struggles of transgender folks, LGBTQ folks of color, immigrant trans folks, and all those of us who are living on the margins. Mm -hmm.